ACMJ. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ala wa barakatuh. Right now, we are here at Bolacan State University City of Malolosmi Campus. And with their guests on the battle forum, no other than Department of Budget and Management Secretary Amena Pangandama. Our governor, Daniel Fernando, and our vice governor, Alexis Cap, ang mga superstar ng lalawigan ng Bulacan, siguradong po magiging superstar ang Bulacan dahil po sa mga guwapo at manikito ng leader ng probinsya ng Bulacan. Para paano natin sila? Of course, our mayor na nandito po, Magandang umaga din po. Our friends from the Good Morning Senior Management from the Bunso, mamaya po, magkikita po tayo. Magandang umaga. To the local budget officers in Region 3, Algo 3, headed by President Heriberto Tomas, my colleagues from the Department of Budget and Management who are also joining us in today's event, our local budget officers and public financial management practitioners, and to all our participants, magandang umaga po, assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. First, I thank the album 3 for inviting me to be your keynote speaker this morning. Earlier this month, I was also given the opportunity to speak at the General Assembly of the Regional Association of Local Budget Officers Club in General Santa Fe. Mula ng son, hanggang ito now, Ako po ay lubos na nagpupuwa makibahagi sa mga programa ng ating mga local budget officers because not only do I meet our dedicated public servants, I also get to witness firsthand the issues and concerns on the ground. This week, we will present the fiscal year 2024 proposed national budget to the President's Cabinet. Thus, your forum comes at a very opportune time. I trust that my colleagues from the department will sufficiently answer your queries and concerns about preparing your budget. For now, please allow me to share a few of our initiatives that we hope will assist you in performing your duties. In anticipation of the challenges that our partners in the local government will face in the implementation of the government's budget and digitalization initiatives, the DPM has been continuously providing capacity building for our PFM practitioners across different regions, including the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region and Mr. Mindanao. The department is also gearing up for the launch of its digital transformation roadmap, which aims to promote data governance and digitalization in fiscal related government processes. This roadmap has a dual transformation feature that will future proof the entire bureaucracy by institutionalizing all the digital reforms spearheaded by the DDM. In addition, we have enhanced the e budget system for local government units to strengthen the linkage between planning and budgeting and cover all facets of budgeting from the preparation to the accountability phase. Ito po ay maaari niyo nang gamitin, lalo na po sa paghahanda ng inyong annual budget at accountability report. Last June 5, we implemented the merging of the e-budget system with the online submission of budget proposals, which will facilitate easier data reconciliation, especially concerning the classification of the functions of government and the expenditure tagging for the administration's eight point social economic agenda as well as infrastructure, climate change, and regional allocation. We are also updating the budget operations manual for LGUs, which provides an enhanced framework for strengthening policy based budgeting by specifying how to harmonize the linkage among policy making planning, and budgeting. 
He holds the public seat for the second half of the year. At the national level, we have also been proactively lobbying for the working with Congress toward the enactment of the progressive budgeting for better and modernized governance, or the PPDM governance bill, which will modernize our budgeting system and resolve the fragmented PFM legal framework. The PPDM governance bill will also aim to secure the institutionalization of EPFM reforms such as the Treasury Single Account, Accounting and Auditing Reform, and the Integrated Financial Management Information System, or the ACMIS, to strengthen the implementation of the cash budgeting system and promote public participation in the budget process once enacted. The good news is that we have already made a huge step in the right direction. As President Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos Jr. signed Executive Order No. 29 two weeks ago, directing the full adoption and implementation of ACMIS in government agencies and encouraging LGUs to follow suit. I hope that as we all use this, we achieve transparency and bureaucratic efficiency. We also recognize that one of the most pressing concerns of our local government is the implementation of the Supreme Court ruling on Mandana's Garcia case. Further, we are well aware that the differing levels of technical and financial capacities of LGUs affect the absorptive capacities and implementing such at the local level. Hence, upon the President's directive, the DDM, together with the Department of Finance, the Department of Interior and Local Government, the National Economic and Development Authority, is pursuing a review of the full dissolution effort to determine the extent and way forward to assist our LGUs in this endeavor. National government agencies shall also continue to provide capacity building interventions appropriate and responsive to the development needs of local government. These are only a few of the initiatives of the department to help our local government, especially our local budget officers and PFM practitioners in carrying out their matters. Rest assured that as we pursue this undertaking, we will continue to be your partner for inclusive development and support you in your efforts to achieve growth in your locality. Likewise, we hope that you will also maintain your support for the DDM and join us in implementing reforms that improve not only our government systems but also our process. I have said this before and will say this again. Our agenda for prosperity will not be truly inclusive without our local government. Maraming salamat po, mabuhay ang Albuquerque, wabilang kausik, wanigaya, salamalayku, marakmasulayin mo para sa akin. Their digitalization effort. Bakit po ba nakikita kailangan yung digitalization? Ah, there are a few benefits and advantages. First po, makapabis po ang pagproseso ng lahat ng mga transactions sa gobyerno. Kasi po, at the, at the, at the, at the present minute, ano you na, know, uh, with your fingertips po, kaya po yung gawin, lahat po tayo, meron po tayo yung uh, computer, and then lahat po tayo, may mga cellphone, kaya po natin mag-Facebook, so kaya din po natin gumamit ng ating mga uh, mobile phones para po maka, maka access po ng uh, mga proyekto at programa ng gobyerno po. Second, transparency. Sinyari po, um, nung nasa Central Bank po ako, we're pushing for, again, digital payment. The digital payment po, Gcash or Paymaya and other, other, ano po, and other platforms po, makikita niyo po dyan yung mga transactions. Pag pumasok at saka pag lumabas. So, wala pong, wala po kayong, lahat po, naka, lahat po dyan nakasulat. So, wala pong makikita na, yan, din na po. Wala, <laughs> hindi na tayo makakaproblema po, para po tayong merong table. Lahat, very trans transparent po. So, yun. So, sa national government level po yan. Pero po, nung uh, gusto po sana namin sa local government unit po, sana they also adopt such programs and projects po. Patulad po sa provincial government of Bulacan. And sure po, 
Kaya na po sila niya kung mag-apply po kayo ng yung mga permit niyo for your business o magbabay siguro po kayo ng mga real familiar niyo po. Mas maganda po sana if they can do it digitally po para iwas po yung pila sa mga tao. Ganun po. So, we, we hope po, yung sinasabi nga po ni Governor, ano, whole of government uh, approach po, hindi lang kami sa national, pati sa local government din. Sana po ma-adapt at ma-embrace po nila yung digitalization efforts po ng gobyerno. Okay, maraming salamat. You've just witnessed the message of the guest speaker on the budget forum here at Bulacan State University, no other than Secretary Amena Pangandaban of the Department of Budget and Management, the first cabinet Muslim secretary on the Marcos administration. This is MC Alvina Balaguer of Dawa Sakat Makabuluhang Journalism, your happiness channel.